So this is um, <laughs> the reason why we have so many power outages because we have uh, crazy wind storms. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, oh, that's not that bad, but this is like the mild version right now. Like the gusts of wind are insane. Like pushing my Jeep. I have a Jeep Grand Cherokee and it pushes my Jeep like to the side. Oh, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. This is the main reason we have most of our power outages here in California, because of high winds. Now, high winds, they're completely normal. Like, in Northern California, where I am currently for the past couple of years, it's completely normal to have high winds around this time. Now, what's not normal is uh, power lines being snapped, trees snapping off and hitting power lines. That's the part that's not normal, but it's been normal for the past couple of years. Now, I've lived in the Bay Area as well. Every single day, no matter if it's summer, no matter what, um, between four and five o'clock, it gets very windy and it gets a little chilly. So I do advise if you're gonna be vacationing and coming to San Francisco, always bring a jacket. No matter if it's the summertime and it's 80, 90 degrees, around, I'd say four or five o'clock, it's gonna get around 50 to, you know, 50 to 60 degrees because of the winds. There's like a cold front, it seems, that always comes in around four or five o'clock with high winds. But anyways, yeah, it's completely normal to have these winds. But right now, the reason I'm talking about it is because it's Wednesday and uh, most of Santa Rosa is on a power outage. So yeah, go figure. But luckily, I still have power here. Uh, you just deal with most of the city not having power, which sucks. It sucks for everybody, it really does. And you feel for people that have to deal with the power outage every single time. I mean, you have food to worry, you have so much to worry about. But anyways, I wanted to talk about something that happened to me this past Monday. Again, today is Wednesday, and I've been trying to figure out how in the world do I uh, talk about this situation. So basically what happened, I had something stolen from me. And it's significant to me because I've never had anything stolen from me, ever. Now, okay, I, so I, I've had my bike stolen when I was a child, a long time ago, but we, thanks to local law enforcement, they were able to get my bike back fairly quickly within the same day. So, because it was a very unique bike, it was probably something no one else had in the whole entire community, but we got it back anyways. So yeah, Monday. So what happened was I used a particular uh, delivery service, food delivery service. And I'm not gonna go into names, it's not that important um, because they basically did the right thing. The food delivery service was fantastic as far as handling the situation. Um, so I, you know, it's hard to be mad at them. You have to be mad at the contracted delivery person. And why it's so significant to me is because one, I don't like these particular services. And two, again, I've never had anything so stolen. So every time we've used these services, the delivery services, the food delivery services, I've always wanted to just go pick up the food myself because I don't, tr I don't trust it. I just don't. There's too much gray area for me to uh, trust the service. But, you know, my wife loves it. We can typically get food from places that you normally can't. And that's the great thing about it is you can get food from places that don't have delivery services. So yes, there's pros to it, but you know, this is unfortunately one of the bad cons is our food never showed up. And basically what happened, we ordered about $65 worth of sushi. And <laughs> to our surprise, it says it was delivered. To who we don't know, but it never came to us. Um, so in that whole process, we basically attempted to call the delivery driver. He wouldn't answer. We text him, wouldn't answer. So obviously the next step is to call the, the delivery service itself. So again, they did the right thing. It was really painless. It wasn't a big deal to them. I'm assuming that, I mean, not saying it wasn't a big deal to them, but they basically took care of the situation, gave us two options to reorder the food and have it delivered or give us our money back, give us extra cash in their app and you know we obviously do our thing we basically took the money and uh for a later date if we decide to use the service again so in this whole process again we called the guy texting guy wouldn't answer while we are talking to this particular 
delivery service, food delivery service, they're trying to contact this guy. Wouldn't answer. Wouldn't answer their phone calls, wouldn't answer their text messages, nothing. The guy just fell off the face of the earth. Couldn't contact this guy for nothing. I mean, nothing. No, we nobody knows. I don't I'm pretty sure no one knows to this day what happened to this food. So that's the whole thing. Even this company couldn't figure out what was going on. So like that's what just left the bad taste in my mouth. You know, and it leads me to believe that the delivery driver basically stole the food. Or maybe I'm looking at it all wrong and someone in my apartment complex stole the food. Um, I, I don't know. And that's the hard part for me. That's why I've always hated these particular services is because there's so much gray area. So if I, if I order food at a restaurant, I know who to hold accountable. If your delivery driver does something to my food, if I catch this delivery driver doing something to my food, if the delivery driver doesn't deliver the food, I know who to contact. I know who to hold accountable. But when it comes to these delivery services, being that they're all contractors, so it's like, would, this, would the company say, I'm sorry you have to go after the delivery driver because they are contractors? We hold no responsibility to what they do with your food, and that's the liability you take by using our service. Like, that's my thing, and why I've always not liked using the service, because who do I hold accountable? You know, they're subcontractors. Contractors bear their own responsibility in a lot of cases when it comes to lawsuits and things like that. You know, I've, I've employed hundreds of people because I used to employ people in what I used to do in my previous jobs. Um, and in my position, I understood, and in the line of work that I did, I understood that we had to have insurance for our employees um, because we were liable for their, any mistakes that they've made, we were liable. Um, the company, un, you know, basically the companies were responsible for employees. You couldn't attack the employee, you had to attack the company. That's basically how it worked. And Understanding that, you know, it's hard. They don't have insurance for their employees. The employee basically has their own insurance because they're contracted work. So it left a bad taste in my mouth. I don't know if I'll use just any of these delivery services anytime soon. I've always just rather got my own food or picked up my own food anyway. I don't know, I just thought I wanted to share that because I'm still a little angry about it. Again, the delivery service did the right thing. I can't, like, it. yes, it's a knock against them because of their contractor, but at the same time, they've done, they, I mean, they've done, they, 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 at the same time, they've done everything they can to make it right. And in my eyes, they made it right. You know, I can't be upset with the company because, you know, they, again, you can't control what idiots do. And this particular person was an idiot. They either didn't deliver to the right place and didn't want to be held accountable for it, or two, they t stole the food and didn't want to be held accountable for it. And that's the problem with these services. If the person decides to close out his app and delete all of his stuff, well, what is this gonna do about it? Obviously, $65 is not enough for them to go after this person and, and, and sue them unless it's probably been something that they've done for a long time. So it's like, <laughs> The guy can just up and quit and say, okay, you know what, the hell with y'all, I stole the food, so what, what you gonna do about it? That's my problem. But anyways, I'm, I'm, in, I'm happy that I got this off my chest. It's been bothering me since Monday. And now I can move on and, and do other things with videos, but I'm still upset. I, I really am still upset. I really am, because this shouldn't have happened. Now don't get me wrong, we've had issues like this in the past, but they've always called. Every single time we've had a delivery guy get confused, or delivery lady, or whatever, get confused, they've always called us. They've always texted and said, hey, we're confused, and we've always came outside and flagged them down and showed them where to go. It wouldn't have been any different this time because I want my food, but I don't know guys, have you guys ever experienced anything like this? I know I'm not the first one to uh, ever experience anything like this, but it's frustrating to waste 25 minutes of your time and at the end of it have no food, and then have to waste an extra 25 minutes to reorder the food and then go pick it up yourself. Just saying it's the price you pay 
for convenience. <laughs>